Hey everyone, welcome back to 365 Ninja. Today I've got a tip for you that applies across Office 2013. You can do this in PowerPoint, Word, and Excel. I'm starting here in PowerPoint and I'm going to show you how to password protect or encrypt with a password a PowerPoint file. You'll do the same process in Word and Excel, so the steps are the same. Go to your file tab and with info selected, it's the default place that you'll land when you click file, select this protect presentation button. Click encrypt with a password, and you get this dialog box popped up to enter a password. A word of caution here, there's no way for Microsoft to recover the password for you if you lose your password. So make sure that you use something that you're going to remember or you store your password in a safe place. So I've entered my password and click OK. I have to re-enter it. Click OK again, and now you can see a password is required to open this presentation. Let me close and reopen it, and I'll show you what it looks like to somebody who maybe doesn't know the password. So now I've closed and reopened my doc, and you can see that I have a dialog box here prompting me to enter my password. Now let's say I just enter something wrong. Click Enter tells me it's not the right password, and I don't have another chance, essentially, and I'm pretty much out of luck. I'll show you how to remove the password if you don't want it to be password protected anymore. So I've opened up my password protected file. I'm back here on the file tab. Click protect presentation again. Click encrypt with a password and then might be a little not intuitive for you, but all you do is just remove the password, backspace or click delete and click OK. And now you can see that that highlight over the protect presentation is gone. This presentation is no longer password protected. I'll add one thing that I noticed while I was creating this video. If you just simply add a password to a doc and then close it without saving changes, even if you haven't made any other changes, that doesn't save the password. So just make sure to save changes before you close the doc in order to apply that password. Hope this tip helped. For more tips and tricks like this one on Office 365, please check back with 365ninja.com. Thanks.